Rest in peace, Anthony Rumble Johnson, man. I mean, a guy, that name, his name rings bells throughout mixed martial arts, passed tragically. November 13th, 2022, just five days after my own birthday. I'm not even going to attempt to try to pronounce or enunciate the sickness or illness that tragically took his life. What I'm going to do is take this time to look back on his mixed martial arts career. Rest in peace. Roll the intro. Welcome back to Championship Rounds, guys. It's your boy Marcel Pierre. I'm back here to remember Anthony Rumble Johnson. Anthony Rumble Johnson, the former junior college national wrestling champion. In just his fourth fight, he was 3-0 inside of the UFC fighting the world's very best. And yes, he traded some wins and losses, fighting at 170 pounds, which is unbelievable considering how big he actually got. And yes, he had some issues cutting weight, winning most of his fights by knockout. Yeah, separating guys from consciousness. He really had the, the touch of death. And if you weren't quick on your feet and if your head wasn't on a swivel, he'd take you out with one up top, a head kick as well. Very well-rounded with the wrestling experience. Well, Anthony Rumble Johnson, as I mentioned, had some trouble making weight. He was put in there with Vitor Belfort in the height of Belfort's prime. And he missed weight for that fight. Unfortunately, he lost via rear naked choke. And the UFC cut him. So what did Rumble Johnson do? He didn't give up on himself. He wasn't down on himself. He went to the World Series of Fighting and went undefeated at light heavyweight and heavyweight. Taking out the likes of... Andre Arlovsky at heavyweight, yeah, busted him up. And you saw what Andre Arlovsky has continued to be able to do. Maintain a steady UFC heavyweight career. Well, Anthony Johnson, again, touched him up. David Branch, who was the World Series of Fighting champ champ. He didn't want the smoke with Rumble. Rumble came back hot on that win streak, back to the promotion that cut him, the UFC, and I would say his his comeback only falls short of those like Robbie Lawler or Fabricio Verdum or the the assassin baby Brandon Marino who were cut from the UFC and managed to come back and realize UFC World Championships. Well, Rumble Johnson was right on the doorstep of that, having title fights with Daniel Cormier whom, yes, he fell short, but everybody but John Jones fell short to Cormier at 205 pounds. What Rumble Johnson did was come back and knock fools out. I'm talking about guys like Antonio Ruggiero Minotaro Nogueira. He went all the way to Sweden and knocked out Alexander Gustafsson in his hometown, silenced the packed arena. And that was special. His career was special. You know, it was, a, it was a surprise when he was released, you know, by the UFC. I know that it was on good terms. But then he showed up in Bellator. He showed up and had a war that he came out on the end of to remind everybody just whom the hell he is. Anthony Johnson is a family man. He's somebody's loved one. And he has loved ones. And although I only had the privilege of knowing him as an athlete, and a well-rounded mixed martial artist. I'm sure there's people in this world that are deeply hurt that had the privilege to know Anthony Rumble Johnson. And for those people, I offer my condolences. But Anthony Rumble Johnson was a special fighter. A very special fighter. He was must-see TV. And nine times out of ten, he was getting them out of there by way of knockout. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe. But more, most importantly, once again, rest in peace, Anthony Rumble Johnson. And until next time.
stay frosty. <laughs>